Hi, welcome to my 2 minutes music tutorial. My name is Bernard. I'd like to continue showing you some modal interchange chord substitution techniques. Our topic this time is drifting cadence. In my previous videos, I showed you some concepts and ideas of modal interchange. If you want, you can take a look at those videos through the links here. Before we talk about the drifting cadence, I'd like to briefly show you what a cadence is. Simply put, cadence is a set of chord progressions that are used for ending a musical phrase. In traditional music theory, there are four types of cadences. When you want to end a song, the normal way to end it is to use a perfect cadence, which is also known as authentic cadence. Alternatively, you can use plagal cadence. Both cadences will finish the song in the home key firmly. As for these traditional cadences, I will go through them in the other videos. Now let's get back to the drifting cadence. Actually, this is not an official musical term. I just made up this term myself because the cadence will unexpectedly shift the tonal center. This creates a drifting effect at the end of the cadence. Here's how it works. When the music gets to its last chord, instead of going to the final one chord of the home key, we apply modal interchange and shift it to another key. In this example, I'm using the Locrian mode, which is rarely used. Let's take a look at the nooks of C major scale and the C Locrian mode. As you may notice, the notes between them are quite different. When I create this drifting cadence, I will borrow the 2 and 5 chords from the Locrian mode. Let's compare the 2 and 5 chords from the C major and Locrian mode. They sound very different. In this drifting cadence I made, I substitute the final 1 chord with the 2 and 5 chords from the Locrian mode. Or you can just call them a flat 2 major 7 chord and flat 5 major 7 chord from the original C major key. Here, I have shifted the original key center. Then, you can choose to finish the cadence on the 1 or 4 chord of the original key. Both endings will create its own unique harmonic color. You may use this drifting technique on both major and minor keys and also either with the perfect cadence or plagal cadence. You may simply try it on any song you like. This is the end of my short demonstration today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, just hit the subscribe button and the bell below now. See you in my next video. Bye.